I'm back in Rojas City. So happy to be here and staying at Sitio Uno once again. And there's a reason why I'm here and not down at the beach. And that's because Capistahan, which is their big festival, grand opening is tomorrow. And I thought I'd come down to catch that. I won't be able to catch all of it this, this weekend, but it's going on every single day for the next three weeks. So I will be at several of the events, uh, but just not all of them, that's all. But uh, I found a little uh, somebody to go have dinner with that uh, I'm really happy to hear. He has been enjoying Rojas City apparently for a little while now. I'm gonna introduce all of you to. This, doo -doo -doo, is Tom. Hello, hi everybody. Tom has been checking out Rojas City for how long? Oh, about a month and a half. Okay, and I've been almost living two here for a month. Wow, yeah. fantastic. Yeah, I was on and off running back and forth to do Maggetti and then I finally just moved out here completely. Fantastic. Yes. Uh, what do you think about staying here? You're staying here, right? Oh, I love it. Yeah? It's so convenient. I figured out all kinds of shortcuts to get to the beach now. It's really not that far. I don't go through the city. I, I'm going to I'm gonna find out those shortcuts. Yeah. I'm going to find out those shortcuts for sure. Because yeah. that, that's kind of like a thing. Like once you come out like around 4 to 6 o'clock, yeah. woo, oh, traffic. it's brutal. It's yeah. brutal. Yes. Yeah. So at the, now there are taxis here. Did you hear about that? I saw it. There was one right over there. Yeah, the yellow taxis, brand yes. new service. Yes. Here just only a week ago, Southwest Tours, their vehicles over there, um, is now providing them. Um, they're the same people that provide the buses on Barakai and a lot of the shuttle vans that you take to go to Cataclan or go from Roja City yeah. to uh, Calibo, those kind of places. So yeah, this is great. Everything's getting so great here in Roja City and this neighborhood Peaceful. It's amazing. In the morning, I walk this to about eight kilometers every day. Wow. And you wouldn't believe how much construction is yeah. going on here. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Everywhere you look, they're building something. It's very true. But yes. this is this development is going to be different than all the developments you've seen so far because the family uh, that control it have decided they're going to leave a lot of green space in between oh, each area. Good. And we're actually, I even brought up to him last time about putting in a little parquet with a walkway that will be right beside here that'll take you over to the Robinson Mall. I like it. Right? That I mean, be... it's so close. Yeah. Yes. It, it literally is right over there, yes. but there's no direct path. So right. we talked about that, and it's such a simple thing. I think they're going to do it. So that's, that's great. great. All right, we're going to go have dinner. Okay. Fantastic. Let's go. Let's go. We're down at the Bye Bye right now. We're going to head over to Bit Toys again. I know, I seem to go there a lot. I love it. I love it. It's a nice place. I'm sure there's many great places down here. I know there are but uh, I like to give my friends the business, if I can. Have you been to Bit Toys yet? No. All right, see, there's another reason we need I to go to Bit Toys. I have a feeling that it's gonna be very packed here. How are you? Hi, fine. Nice to see you again. Yeah. All right, so. Hey, we're good, we're good. It's not that bad at all. Hello, how are you? Hello. Yeah, it's not bad, not bad. Well, we're gonna probably take number 40. Ah, oh, see, here we go. The beach life, exactly what I love. So is, is that one of the big reasons you kind of wanted to come out here to Roja City? Yes, the beach, it's absolutely beautiful. Yeah. And I've walked up and down it. And it's uh it's great. And, and so this this whole area is really nice. And the people's park. Yeah. Nice. Oh my goodness. And it's yeah. only getting better. Yeah. Um so you you've had uh, some experience though in other places. You lived somewhere else before here. Yes, Dumaghetti. Dumaghetti. Yeah. And uh, how long do you live there? Almost a year. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, yeah. And was it right in the heart or do you live in Valencia or No, I lived in a city. Okay. Not too far from what the, I, it's called Daro. The bar barangay was Daro, and which was nice is because I have a motor scooter, or if I want to go out late at night or whatever, I just jump on a trike and go. And yeah. Then, you know, enjoy myself. Don't have to worry about driving a motor scooter. All right. Well, what's the plus and minuses? Would you say about Dumaguete? Uh, the infrastructure here I'm finding is much better. Like I do a lot of walking, so. The sidewalks in Dumaguete, you really can't walk yeah, on the sidewalks like, Wait, here, sidewalks? you can't. Yes, they have sidewalks. Here. I know, I know. Yes. Sort of. And uh, just the, 
the vibe, the people. I find the people much more accepting here yeah. than in Dumaguete because there are so many foreigners. In yeah. Dumaguete, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's kind of the problem, right? It can build up resentment and yes. stuff like that. Because not yes. everybody treats people uh, with the same amount of respect. That is and true. And you get a great deal of people in one area. Um, some who feel like they're more entitled and things like that, and they can give us all a bad name, right? Yes. Unfortunately. And there are a few there that do, unfortunately. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, definitely. And they're not my friends. No, no, exactly, no. exactly. We choose our friends a little bit more oh, wisely. Absolutely, you have yeah. to. You have to, when there's a lot of foreigners. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I guess you also did appreciate like the fact that you could go and have a coffee with a foreigner. In the middle of the day, there might be one sitting there. Yes, I could. Right. Where yes. Once you come to the pro, a little away from all of that, in the middle of the afternoon, everybody's sleeping or at work. That is there true. is nobody here to talk to you. Yes. Yeah. And that's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Yes. It's well, I, everything I everything like has it. plus and minuses. Yes. Yeah. Yes, and I, you know, kind of go where I want to go, and I, I, you know, have a family that adopted me and uh, enjoy my retirement here. I like it. Isn't that crazy? He came here. He's already adopted. You know, people say it only happens to me. It doesn't, right? Tom does not have a camera like me. I know. And he got adopted. And he's already made lots of friends here. Yeah. And he's already becoming quite established. I think you're going to join the Rotary Club. Yeah, I think so. Fantastic. Sure. Hopefully, hopefully. Yeah. And that's like a good way to give back because then you're a part of the different yes. programs that are available, you know, to help people in that area. And uh, yeah, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty great of you. Yeah. Well, thank that's you. That's awesome. Very much. All right, let's have a beer, though. I need, I need. I do too. I, I need to quench my thirst. Okay. Wow. Not that Bit Toys needs any promotion, but it is packed in here. Good luck getting a table. It's really tough. Come early, and catch the sunset. It's really beautiful here. Ah. Here we are. Well, you climb some big ones again. Here we are at People's Park. Absolutely beautiful and absolutely packed of people. Hello. Yeah, look at you. And it's always popular, especially at night. You come here during the day, it may not have that many people. This comes on at 7 p.m. and it does a bigger show earlier on. It's a little late now. But normally these things shoot up and everything. It's really, really good fun. So if you're coming down here and you're like, I don't know where all the people are, come to People's Park, you'll find a ton of people here. There is restaurants, of course, all the way up and down the Bye Bye. That is the new one that they built just uh, during the last, when they grand opened this uh, December. And it's all seafood. The second floor is dark up there because they use it for special events only. And all the way across on the other side of the street is street food going all the way across. And then down there is all the restaurants and bars. So, it's a really nice place. Really happening here. And uh, one of my favorite places to come to at night here in Rojas City. Tom, you come here often? Oh yeah, all, uh, all the time. Especially in the evening like this with all the lights and everything. And uh, just kind of walk around. Have come here, fun. come here. Come here. Hello guys. Hello. Hello. Hello you can wave, you can say hello. What's your name? Hello. Sorry, princess. Well, hello, princess. Give me five. Yeah. What's your name, young lady? My name is Kyra. I'm Oh, just the first name. Kyra. Kyra. Nice to meet you, Kyra. Yeah. Wow. She's got some muscle, man. She's like whack. Nice to meet you guys. Pleasure to meet you. So yeah, if you're lonely in Broha City, come here. I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. Wow. That girl's got so much personality, oh my goodness. Anyway, there, there's so many people here and everybody, like he, Tom was saying, like he came here knowing nobody because he saw my video. And now he has all these friends, he's been adopted by a family and he comes down here and he can meet people anywhere and everywhere. And everybody is really, really nice here. It's like, I don't know, you go to the big city, you're gonna find that less. But when you go into a city of this, it's only a 180,000 population. So a third of Iloilo City, it is much more friendly atmosphere. But you can see, I have all these reasons I'm constantly telling you, maybe you don't watch all of my videos, but if you have, you're probably like, Michael, you've told us all this before. I know, I know, that's what I do. But you never know, you never know who's watching, be somebody new. 
it's a really beautiful place, especially when the, the, rain, the water comes right up. So it depends on the tide and it changes. So right now at night, the tide is way out there. There's still some water left over here where these kids are having fun. Um, but yeah, sometimes the waves are right up to the steps. But you can walk out for a mile on this stuff and it's all pure sand all the way out. I drove by this park so many, 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 many times. There's always something going on like a food festival or something and I've always missed out on it. And this time I got a few minutes. I got a little bit of time actually. Um, and uh, yeah, I believe also tomorrow my friend is doing a grand opening of their shop over here. They have locations in Antique and in Hilo Hilo City and then now expanding to here. Um, so I, you know, I've known them for, well, since I moved to Ilo Ilo, I think. And so I said, well, I'm going to be there. I'm going to join your little ribbon cutting. And anyway, it'll be fun. But anyway, this park is so beautiful. I can't believe I didn't come here before. They got a gigantic waterfall over here. Um, I got a, this guy here who somebody will tell me who this is, I think. Might be a, oh, there is a plaque. General Esteban Doshi Contreras. I, I don't know, but maybe you historians out there, maybe you guys will know who that general is. I'm sure it said more on the plaque, but I'm going to keep moving. And I'm guessing that these are all the people that fell. Maybe World War II? It's pretty faded now. Um from this area, but it is uh, like it's engraved, so it's not just painted. All right, let's go in. This is so nice in here. But this is for Capistar Han. And there you go. Margarita's Street Food Market. We got a lot in here, actually. And oh, the National High School is right at the end here, so that, that's why it attracts a lot of people automatically. But yeah, food vendors are already setting up. And I think by one more hour, you'll see a lot more people here. Hello, hello guys, how are you? It's Shomai. You got that fried chicken skin, ice cream. I think this is a more permanent store that's here all the time. Oh, cookies. Who doesn't like cookies? That looks crazy good. All of these look really good. Is there anybody here? Hello? There's nobody here. I wonder if it means it's free cookies. Probably not. Let's see. Hey guys, do you know who sells the cookies? Do you know who works here? No? Okay. Are you hiding? There's one hiding behind a blanket. Right in there. Nobody back. Oh. Hello. Do you sell the cookies? She's going to Oh, okay. So she's gone right now. Okay. No problem. She's gone right now. She had to go. I think she's saying she should take her kid somewhere. All right. Um, let's see what else we got. Of course, you have to have coffee. There's always, always iced coffee. Shomai and oh, sushi, sushi. Look at that. More coffee. Rice bowls. Hello, brother. How are you? Good evening. with that music. Good afternoon. Look how pretty this park is. Look at that. An OG by Kubo, I guess. I think they're just trying to show you what uh, traditional homes look like. But look at this. Wow, this is so pretty. That side's the most pretty. I'm going to save that. 
We have koi fish in here. Oh, do not enter high voltage. Okay. Oh, I see. That's the back of it. But it looks like you're, you're allowed on the the other side, or no? It fell down, I think. All right, let's go to the the nice side. With the huge. Oh, look at that! I can walk it this way. I think I'm allowed. Oh yeah. Oh, this is this is so pretty. I love it. Fruit flies or whatever you call those things. Oh, and they lights up. You can see all the lights on there. What a great water feature. I love this. I know some of you out there are like Michael. You're always so easily impressed. Yes. Capture Capiz. They're doing photos over here. It looks like uh, maybe an engagement. Oh, there's another nice one there. I don't know. Hello, guys. Hello. Is today a big day? Yes. What's today? What's what's today? Somebody's getting pictures. Are you getting pictures? You got this barong on. It looks good. Yes, sir. All right. What's the big celebration? We're just filming about our project. Uh, oh, for a project. project. School project. Oh, what, what kind of project? Is it media? Uh, Filipino yeah. culture. Great culture. Great culture. <laughs> and this is beautiful in here. I've never been to this park, and I've been to Rojas City many times. Is this your first time here? No, only this park. I've been to Rojas many times. But this is beautiful. I love this. This is quite nice. All right, guys. Well, good luck with your project. Thank you. Are you playing a specific person or no? No. No? Just yes. you? Yes. All right. Perfect. Enjoy, guys. Thank you. Thank you. And their tourism shop says it's under maintenance. So uh, nothing going on there just right now. I don't know if they're relocating it, though, because... Capitol building is getting rebuilt right now in Pueblo de Panay, so it'll have like a whole different area. So yeah, I think everything here is more for nighttime, because I can see that they light up a lot of this stuff, and I bet it'll look really cool. So we'll see if I come back this time anyway. And then all the conservation of rare uh, vulnerable trees, they have the different names of them all over on these signs. From what I, my understanding is, between the Spanish and the Americans, um, when they colonized here, they would take all of the good uh, lumber timber that they wanted and ship it back to their home countries. And so they lost a lot of their um, natural trees that used to grow very plentiful here, and now they're endangered. Well, no cookie school, but... I am actually, I think I'm going to be able to find where my friend's uh, shop is opening up. Because I think she said it's right by this college hospital here. Where they teach uh, nursing and stuff like that. And also it's a hospital, of course. And the hospitals here are much more low rise, but they're really long. So, um, I don't know if that's just to maintain certain levels of things or it's just safer. You know? earthquakes or something? I don't know. Is there a reason? You tell me. I don't know. So, she said it's across from this. You know, by the way, I just learned this. This is new to me. But thanks to another YouTube blogger, I realized that the best place to get breakfast here is to go... Look at that. The egg sandwich. It's only 20 pesos. You can add cheese for five, egg, another egg for 15, and a bacon for 25. And you can get yourself a monster if you really wanted to. So it's like a super low cost place to get a really good breakfast sandwich that actually tastes pretty good. So uh, it's now a favorite of mine. Somebody said hi.
Oh, this is a great place for uh, burgers too. It's called Huestan. Uh, and I've come in here before. Hello, brother. I've come in here before and had their uh, their burgers, and it's like so good, so good. I just wanted to see if I can find her place. Maybe I'll go in and say hello. Because the people here were so nice. All right, guys. Hello, hello. So, uh, hello, guys. How are you? Hey, you're back. How are you? F familiar face. Familiar face. Oh my goodness, I've been sweating right now. That's for sure. Oh, hello, hello. Maybe, maybe. There we go. There we go. This is my uh, my breakfast or dessert before my dinner. Halo halo. It is such a unique thing to the Philippines, and you, and you take some time to get used to because most people are like, I don't like corn and corn flakes and you know these type of things in my um, dessert. But you once you get over the mind thing of that, you realize it actually is really good and. You'll love it. You'll love it. You'll fall in love with it. But you do have to mix it, which is halo halo. It means, the word means mix, mix. Anyway, it's really delicious, so um, you have to try it when you come to the food. And come to this place, by the way. The food is fantastic. Like, especially those that are not big fans of, like, um, the same five dishes sort of thing that you get at a lot of Philippines restaurants. Their stuff here is completely different. They really knock their socks off um, with their, their hamburgers and other meals. They, they have really good meals here. But this time, I'm meeting friends too, so I can't this time. But I did eat here last time when, and I filmed it. It was just on the other channel. Wow, that was so good actually. It, I couldn't believe I ate it all. I ate it all. Sometimes they put like some stuff that I don't like, but they did, they did a great job. All right, so I'm gonna go to the dinner now. I still wanted to look just one more quick time to see if I can find Frank Frank's business, but other than that, let's go to the Pancake House. I have this stadium over here. It looks like it's being rebuilt or something, or a building for it. There's an outdoor running track I can see there, big gymnasium in the back. It's like a huge outdoor recreation center. So I am out here at Plantan, Plant and then Plantan and then. <laughs> I always do that struggle. The cool thing about this place is they literally do have their own wastewater treatment, and they got Max's, they got uh, Pancake House, a few others. Sorry, girls. And it's located right on the river, right across from City Hall, and right over there, the uh, the existing Capitol building. Really beautiful area, and they just kind of like if you haven't seen my previous videos, you will not have seen this before but it's kind of like a real hangout place for a lot of people and they did it on purpose you know and made the place quite popular see this i got like outdoor gym stuff here and a track and kids just come here and hang out i said kids you know what i mean late teens and stuff like that how are you guys doing good awesome awesome good afternoon uh, they got ice cream there now that's a new one actually that wasn't there before but yeah, they got everything here. It's like super nice. I got something going on right now because I got all this caution tape up. And I'm not sure what. Oh, look at that. They're running up a wall. No idea. Anyway, pancake house, yellow cab. Um, there's more going up on the second and third floor. It's quite big. It's a really big place. But I'm meeting my friends here at pancake house very soon. The whole family. Oh, how are you? Awesome. That's new. And that's new. Oh, wow. They keep growing. So now they got a bakery and cafe here. I'm sure that's going to do quite well. Look at these guys. Very nice. Very nice. And uh, hello. Nice to meet you. Hello. And uh, yeah. Still waiting. Still waiting. Who is this? There's Danny. Hi, Danny. How are you? Oh, you're a big hugger. Are you doing good? Yeah. Can I have McDonald's from? 
McDonald's? Yeah, I got this from Happy Meal. My goodness, are you happy? Yeah. It worked, <laughs> it worked. There's Joy, hello Joy. Hello. How are you? Been. Everywhere, everywhere. Hello, Malcolm, <laughs> Malcolm, come on, shake my hand, Malcolm. Nice to see you, sir. You doing good? Yes. Awesome, awesome. And then Wesley, of course. Hey. Last but not least, of course, <laughs> is Wesley. We've been friends for a long time now, and we have mutual friends. Yeah, we just took over this double table thing, so ignore the extra chairs. Of course. Oh, she can't. They, they have it closed for an event right now. They're like filming some workout thing. Okay, so we should not disturb Anyway, so we have mutual friends in Pototen. Yes. Relatives, right? Of yours? Relatives of yours? No. Friends, just friends. friends. Okay, okay. And tomorrow, are you going to be at the grand opening? Tomorrow? What's tomorrow? Grand right opening of Cafe Stack. No, April's new shop here. Oh, no. I in didn't, Roja I didn't City. I'm sorry. I didn't know. Right yeah. across from the city mall. I don't know what time yet. I'll find out in a minute once I look at my phone. <laughs> so but, they're yeah. here. Tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow, yeah, she's coming up to <laughs> do the ribbon cutting sort of thing. So I guess you're coming, Joy. It's very close to your house, so you should just come. They opened the park. We're gonna go to the cafe. We're good. Okay. Uh, they just opened the park to everybody now because their little event was over, and you can see people already rushed in to hang out. This was cool though. It was really dark, so we couldn't really show anybody anything. Are you stretching like you're gonna go jogging? Yeah. Um, so yeah, check this out. So you start over there. We thought, okay, is this a skateboard park? Uh, skateboard park? No. Now they're not letting the public, I guess, use this, but you run all the way up and try to grab the bar and pull yourself up. I'm six foot four, so it might be a little easier for me, but uh, for some of these guys, they, you know, the leg span isn't as big. It was hard. It was tough. A few people failed. Yeah. I want to run. Anyway, we're going to check out the ice cream. Because I saw a sign back there that said starting at like 25 pesos. This is a great, great price. Like 50 cents, not even. I just run there on the Less than 50 cents. Yeah, exactly. Less. Oh, look at that. They have like the same things as uh, Dairy Queen. As Dairy Queen, look. Thank you, by the way. Hello. Thank you. Oh, is that mango ice cream? Yes, sir. Ooh. Mango, avocado, and... Hershey's vanilla. Hershey's vanilla. My goodness. I think I want mango, though. Now that I saw the mango. Yeah, I definitely want a mango. Chocolate? You don't want chocolate. No way. No way. Oh, wow, they do. They have pr premium Hershey's chocolate. Oh, vi sorry, video. <laughs> yeah, it's recording. There you go. Uh, he has a hired cameraman right now. What do you want to say, sir? <laughs> I am amazing cameraman. That's what I want to say. <laughs> Hello, guys. Oh, look. Your cage, 40 pesos. You are in I'll take the number. <laughs> this is yeah. the good one. There you go. Thank you very much. Wow. So wow. You I don't need the number then. You need the number. <laughs> that was so fast. Thank you. Look at that. Look at that. Delish. And then you say, Panalo. Why does it say? Like Harry Potter. <laughs> Can you do two of the Hershey small cones? Yes. For the, just give them to those kids. Oh. Hey, come. Come. Look at that. Oh my goodness. It's like a tail. Wow. That's good. Yeah, it looks like, see, normally it would be on the outside only, like a dip, right? But no, that's all the way through. It's Hershey's all the way. Hershey's all the way. Anyway, I like the mango. Oh, wait. Oh, they're getting mango. Okay. 
Cool. Oh. One more to come. See you later, guys. Enjoy. Oh, one of each. Look at that. Look at that. Thank you. What do you think of the ice cream, young lady? Wait, need light. Good light. There we go. What do you think of the ice cream, young lady? I like it. You like it? Is Louder, it please. Delicious? I like it. <laughs> Maybe you'll be in their commercial now. <laughs> Never know. She's cute. Well, Capistahan starts technically tomorrow morning with the parade, uh, about eight o'clock in the morning. So there's a little bit though that you can still see tonight. They finally got the fair up and running and here we go. There's not many people here, keep that in mind because it starts tomorrow, uh, but it's open. It's open for now. So tomorrow, expect the evenings to be absolutely packed. And that is a big Ferris wheel for a portable Ferris wheel. There's some people here, not bad. We also went out for dinner and we stayed a long time. So we've been gone for several hours. It's probably busier a little bit earlier, but it's nice. And in Pueblo, this whole area, is uh, so open and easy to access to because they got big wide roads, not traffic, uh, not packed with traffic, I should say. And uh, they have sidewalks, big key. Look at that, they got a roller coaster here, sort of. Oh, it's that bike one. This one confuses me because if you get stuck, a guy has to walk down and push you. All right, they got it working, they got it working. So you got to work hard for this uh, I want to call it a roller coaster, but I'm not sure. Oh, there are people screaming in there. Okay, look at that. The horror car. The ha cab, not car. The horror cab. Look how terrifying that is. It's literally a truck. Hello? Are you guys scared? Yes. Yeah, you're terrified? Yes. Uh oh, uh oh. Cause you're gonna go through there and who knows who knows how scary is it scary in there I'm yeah scared. you're terrified you look really terrified I'm scared. come with us come with you oh my goodness i don't know if i could handle it could i all right i'll come with you i'll come with you hello how much is ticket 100. what 100 i'm coming to join you all right are you scared i'm about to, i'm about to be terrified too I don't know if, am I supposed to be scared of the driver? Is he a very bad driver? Is that why? Boom, no. boom! Or is there going to be people in there to scare us? Oh, maybe, maybe Aswan. Aswan? Maybe, maybe. I, do you guys got enough room up there? Yeah. <laughs> it looks so tight up there. Oh my gosh. It's fun, bro. Yeah, it's fun? Yeah. Awesome. Well, you got the little uh, guard here to protect you. No, no. Nobody can grab you. What the? I think we're going soon. Hello, guys. Hello. Are you guys scared? No, you're tough? <laughs> all right, all right. We'll find out. We'll find out if I hear you screaming. Uh, bonjour, comment ça va? Oui, I speak French. Parlez en français? All right, here we go. Here we go. Everybody's terrified. Everybody is terrified of this ride. Wish us luck. We may die. Uh oh, uh oh. Did you get grabbed? Did he grab you? No? I think we go again. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're going again. 
I was wondering, I was like, that's pretty short for 100 pesos. It's gonna go again. You were definitely scared, by the way. You were, de you were right on your dad's lap. Wow. Does it get worse and worse? Because you sat in the front. Uh-oh. 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 Uh-oh, we're stuck. We're stuck. Uh-oh. It broke down. Hey, how you doing, brother? Doing good? You go. You gotta go on that, eh? All right. So yeah, maybe maybe adults might not be so scared on it, but the kids were literally having a blast, and uh, they were terrified. They were terrified. Just something about like not knowing what's coming, knowing something's coming, but not knowing when it's coming makes a big difference. Ooh, this guy's killing it. This guy's getting them. Real quick. Yeah, that's the stone that I mentioned there. And you, I mean. Uh, Carnival. This is Juby. Hey, Juby! This is Mike. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure. Pleasure. How's it going? Yeah. You We're got food, so. Yeah, well, I'm staying at Sitiuno. Same? Same? Oh, yeah. Sitiuno. I still stay there also. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm okay. on the second floor. Look at that. Do you live there or you rent there? I live there because I'm an employee. Oh, yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. But you, you do live there all the time, though. But you have a home you go to once a month or something, or no? Nililo. Oh, Nililo. Okay, makes sense. Yeah, tomorrow this will be busier, I assume. Because tomorrow's the, the start. See? All right? We announced it already that it's starting. So. Yeah, well, the parade is like 8 o'clock in the morning. So everything kind of kicks off tomorrow. Yeah. So you, I was, you, you just go around. And I was surprised it was open in here tonight. Yeah. It's time. Yeah, there you go. Nice! Two. Oh, oh, oh. Pressure. Yeah. Five. Ooh. And that's it. Good job, good job. Well, good shooting. Thank you. Don't mess with that kid. Uh, don't break into his house. So I spoke to some of the organizers here um, and they were explaining to me this whole parking lot here is going to be a food fest. And so right now it's not fully open, it's a dry opening. So this will be all big food fest. There will be lots of parking though, of course. There's going to be a stage here. So there's still going to be a lot more coming in. And this is lasting not just one month during the fiesta. It's going to carry on past that. So if you come to Roja City and you want to come out when it's going to be quite busy once it's all done, um, yeah, come out to Pueblo de Panay and it's right around the corner from Robinson and right, right by the BPOs in here and the 7-Eleven and all that. Well, I uh, was totally off. Uh, well, not totally off, a little bit off on my friend's business opening up. It is just around here. Buy one, get one free right now, actually, until April 21. So you go, it's 350 pesos for three sessions. Three sessions. I missed the big thing because they did a blessing today, which was like at mm, eight in the morning or something. I didn't come at eight in the morning. Hello. I am a friend of April's. And I thought, I'm gonna come by and say hello. There you go. They have other things they do too. I don't know all this stuff because I'm not a chick. Very nice, very nice. Anyway, get your girlfriends, in-law, mother-law, whatever you call it. Get them, uh, come down here and get them uh, all situated and they'll be very thankful for it. So right here in Roja City, Beauty Essentials. And they have locations in Iloilo and also in Antique. All right, now we gotta go. We gotta go. I hear all the drummers, everything. Everything's getting started here. By the way, wait, wait until you see the mountains of seafood. We've never seen anything like this before. 
Uh, it's gonna be like in another hour and a half or something. Wow. All right, well, this is my luck. They're done drumming. They finished. What's up, so, what's up Rojas? All right. We actually got some drums after all. Look at that. Look at that. They're going to be playing a probably more. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, this is like the beginning, right? It's going to go for three weeks. Uh, it's going to go for three weeks. And uh, you got to come down if you're going to see this video. I'm just assuming it's going to be a week into this. So, you'll have two more weeks. Uh, but tonight, in addition to all these food vendors you're going to see here is the seafood fest mountains of seafood so stay tuned what i'm about to show you isn't that hey guys <laughs> how are you good good to hear <laughs> there we go i think they got a lot of energy still all right guys hello hello Thank you. Bye. Okay, okay. So as you can see, they're really excited. Hello, hello, hello. And the juice ladies are really happy too. Look at the big smiles. Oh, you're hiding. They weren't hiding. Thank you. Wow, and tons of police. I got them all out in case there anybody would give trouble. No trouble over here. And the food vendors. So this is gonna be every single day, far as I know, at least on weekends, uh, during the whole fiesta. Festival. Hello, hello, Mabuhai. Hi, Mabuhai. Mabuhai to you too. Long life, long life. Hello. Wow, it's going to be hard to get through here. I think I have to go to the middle. How are you, brother? Hey. Doing good? Good. All right, fantastic. Yeah, there's not a lot of room in here. Oh, 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 oh. I'm going to squeeze through. It's going to be a tight fit, that's for sure. There's Megs. Hello. So they're still setting up as you can tell. Hello, girls. They're gonna have the cocktails. Look at that, look at that. That's where the trouble's gonna be. And more police. Oh my goodness, lots of security. How are you guys? And no shortage of water, holy smokes. And beer. And <laughs> just a little bit of Red Horse, guys just a little bit all right so i'm heading all the way down towards the capitol city hall look at the coach oh my gosh there's a ton here hello good afternoon good afternoon mabuhai the tando is already flowing soon i can see it's all over here wow yeah it's gonna be pretty crazy unfortunately i won't be here for it but I'm sure it's going to be absolutely amazing. I'll be here for the other weekends. How are you, brother? Pizza Hut. Look at that. You can even get Pizza Hut at the Fiesta or festival. Yeah, Pizza Hut at a festival. I never knew that was a thing. It's a thing. There sure is a lot of the juices, though. Lots and lots and lots. Oh, yeah, they got all the brands Max's, Yellow Cab, Pancake House where we were just last night. How are you, brother? You know, I was there last night. I was there last night at your pancake house. Yeah. Yeah. How are you? I'm doing good, I'm doing good. Blog, blog? Yep, yep, blogger. Yeah, your manager, uh, I knew him when he he worked on Barakai. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good guy, it's a good guy. Thank you. Hello, hello, hello. Of you wow, I'm gonna get a photo of you. Hi, and my husband loves you. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Actually, he loves watching your vlogs. Well, I guess you're getting a divorce now. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Wow. I wonder what happens at the Tipsy Cat. I think the cats had to win too many. 
Fantastic. Thank you. Thank Pleasure you to meet you. Hello, hello. Let's go. Let's go. Look, at it says let's go, and then it's like, let's grind. Where's the L? The L is got lost. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Well, that's okay. That's okay. Let's Yeah. Visit us later. Yeah, fantastic. Look at that. Well, actually, I'm not here. You guys are here all month? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Unfortunately, I'm only here for a couple more hours, but I'm here other weekends too. So. I'll catch you. I'll catch you. Yes, let's All right. G. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Let's go. Let's G. All right. Sounds like they're doing a, a drawing up here or something. Look at the shawarma. Very nice. Points, points. Oh, there we go. Hi, sir. Hi. I was so confused. I couldn't and remember. the second prize. Okay, thank I you. I wonder if they're giving away motorcycles. Next time, how I wish. Yeah. Okay. Basically, a thousand bucks. And the yeah. second race goes to... Are you waving? Are you waving? What's your name? April. April? Jasin. Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice. I hope you have a wonderful festival. Thank you. Honda dirt bike also. Look at the size of that bad boy. Wow. Africa Twin 1100 cc. Wow. Owned by Mr. Howe. Congratulations. Wow. For the 1100 cc. 1100 cc. Big bike. That is a crazy, crazy bike. Wow. Imagine the power on that thing. Holy smokes. Oh, this is a cool one over here too. I don't know anything about motorbikes other than I drive them. Oops. Well, that's nice too. I like that. Hello, sir. Hey, Michael, you're Michael, right? Yeah. What are you doing? Pleasure to meet you. Have we met? No, I've seen your blog. You know? Oh, fantastic. So fantastic. That's so great. <laughs> I'm so happy. You're, you're that high, you know? Oh, you, you look I shorter. trick people. You look, you, look, you look shorter in the, in the blog. You know? <laughs> this is my friend, friend, Eddie. Eddie? Yeah. Pleasure to meet you, Eddie. Yeah. What's your last name, Michael? There you go. Uh, Smith. Oh, Smith. Yeah, Michael Smith. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. He's in the blog. I've been seeing his blog, blog in the... In the, in the so this, we didn't see this fully yesterday, but this, oh, that's what it's uh, going to look like when it's done, I guess. Oh, amazing. Okay. Uh, so this is what I was talking about yesterday. Look at this amazing running track. You could do your 100 meter, 1500 meter, 2000 meter, whatever. They got shot put. Literally, they got, they're doing shot put right now. How cool is that? So real track and field. Oh, I, outside of Manila, I don't think I've ever seen that level. Available anywhere. That's really cool. That's really cool. So yeah, the whole stadium is getting redone over here. <laughs> All right, let's go say hello to them. And then we got to go over to the seafood. Hello, guys. Hi. Are you guys uh, like a track team? Yes. yes. Nice. All right. What? 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 Uh, are you? Were you doing lunges or? Drills. Okay. Drills. You're doing drills right now. Are you all short di short distance runners? No, you got to run. You got to go. You don't want the coach. The coach will get them in trouble. Good job, coach. And there's the tennis court. Oh my goodness. A friend of mine's father-in-law was gonna take me there and then he couldn't that day. 
Another time, another time. Now I know where they are. Okay, okay. So right now I don't think, it, it's not open. It's just, uh, it's just allow people to take pictures and show what it's gonna look like. So we get a little sneak peek so that it's not a big mess by the time, you know, we get to film it. I think it's over here. There we go. Welcome to what? Yeah, there we go. Thank you. Wow, there's a whole bunch of people here. Hello, everybody. Hello. What? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, that fan is really powerful. I love it. But so look at all the tables in here. Now, this is open to everybody. You have to uh, obviously you pay one fee. I think it's 799 pesos, but it's unlimited all you can eat seafood. So just imagine how much seafood you can eat. I can think you can just imagine. Are you ready for this though? This will blow your mind. So there should be no question why Roja City is considered the seafood capital of the Philippines. No question at all. Never mind that you can just see in other videos how many ships come in every single day. The massive amounts they export all over the world from here. But they hold, well, this has got to be the biggest seafood festival in all of the Philippines. I'm just guessing here. You guys let me know in the comments, but I'm pretty sure. All right, so look at this. Of, yeah, Association of Resorts, Restaurants, and Hotels of Capiz. Yeah. And, well, you've been in other videos with me, with Circolo. Yes, Circolo. Fantastic. So, that, and that is uh, the restaurant on top of the hill that yes. we met. Beautiful restaurant, absolutely beautiful. And look at all of this. This is exciting. How long did it take to put this together? Um, just maybe a hour hours wow you're supposed to brag and be like oh we spent of months course, planning we have the expert with us <laughs> miss letlet oh wow yeah from the special Why is he running away <laughs> running away <laughs> she's running away <laughs> that's a that's a i like it i like it thank you very much this looks amazing wow wow i have one more uh on the oh 26 there's another one. Yeah, I didn't know that. One. Okay, you're not you're not too late for this. You can come back on the 26th and the exact same thing is gonna happen. So I know I'm a little long putting out these videos because I'm so behind, but for once, you're not gonna miss something. 26th, I'm gonna be here for the final weekend also of the month. So come out and join us. There's gonna be a lot of us from Ilubilo City coming and uh, a lot of my friends and everything. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be a wonderful time. Gotta come back. And already, even though it's still a little over an hour to go, there's already lines! Come early, come early. How are you, brother? Fantastic. There's also a lot of media here, and I don't mean me. Although I thought it was quite interesting, I recently just posted it. According to YouTube. 56% of my audience watch on a television. So like YouTube's taken over normal cable TV or something. Pretty cool. I've got a couple of vendors set up over here. I think they're always here though, just so that people can buy water and everything. And you can see everybody's out running. You got this guys, you got this. <laughs> We have volleyball over here, soccer over there. I can't believe all the times I've been here uh, so far in Rojas City that I didn't even know this was here. This is cool, it's like a kickball. Like a hockey sack, but not, it's a ball. Huh. Learn something new every day. All right. So 
that's it for this video. And the reason being, like I said, I have other plans. Um, get ready, I'm going to Coron and Palawan. And I will be back here to give you more of the real festival because this is the opening day and everything is not ramped up yet. Uh, but it's coming, it's coming. I love Roja City. You guys are starting to probably get a little piece of what's in my head of why I am choosing to live here in Roja City from my video. So come along with my adventures in the future. You'll see a lot more. Thank you very much. Subscribe, like, all that good stuff. And we'll see you again. Bye-bye. myself wondering what did happen to the last ten I ran away with my life fast forward never turn back again